playing here with Chad Canyon Rocks in the service. Um, we're going over drill bits, and these are the best bits that I have found. Uh, it's taken a long time to be able to find these, but this is a solid carbide bit, and it actually has a beveled edge that actually makes it sharp. You can actually see it'll scratch your fingernail there. And uh, all the other ones have a, a masonry type blunt end, even locksmith bits. Uh, all of them have that, that blunt end. These are the first ones that have been precision machined into this sharp edge. Now, to show you what the difference is, is this is stainless steel. This is hardened steel knife right here. This is uh, like 404 stainless steel, Rockwell rating, probably somewhere in the 50s, mid 50s. And this is what this bit's going to do to this. Actually, just going to, you can see the cutting begin to form. are great as long as they're in a controlled environment they aren't going to work very well in a hand drill but in a controlled environment like this they're going to work great straight through there just like that um, and this is the smaller eighth inch that's what we're using right here this is how they'll come solid carbide drill bit all all carbide um, they're available at drill bit warehouse um, but they're the only ones that are going to take on this hardened steel like this. Uh, everything else is just going to, you're going to get a very rough edge from uh, a masonry type bit. And even your cobalt bits and stuff like that, they're not even going to touch this like this after it's been hard. So this is a great drill bit for knife making after the steel's already been hardened. Uh, for more information, go to www.tradecountylocksmithservice.com or go to drillbitwarehouse.com. You can use my promo code or my discount code, which is LOCKMAN1. I'm with Trent County Locksmith Service, and uh, these are all the carbide bits. So this is the larger size to show you the angling, but uh, they have this really sharp edge that's not like a masonry bit. It's actually like a regular drill bit there. And you can see that nice sharp edge is going to allow you to be able to precision cut and pretty much machine holes into any kind of hardness of steel. A uh, perfect example of that is these, uh, this knife still right here. This is a Maxim knife, uh, stainless steel, name brand knife, with oil. There's an eighth inch bit. And you can already begin to see filings coming right off there. You want to make sure you use plenty of cutting fluid. You make sure you only use this in a drill press. to put in a uh, hand drill and a drill press application would be just right here, yeah, right to that. This is stainless steel. Right there. And got a hole right through it. Just like that. Um, great, great drill bit. Only stuff that's really going to work for this and continue to do it. You can see over here what we've already done. We've got one, we've got two right there. Here's Wayne here with Trent County Locksmith Service, and uh, we're going over solid carbide bits today. Uh, these are great for knife making. Uh, they have a sharpened edge. You can actually scratch little nail filings off with. It's so sharp. The difference between these is that sharp edge and the full carbide bit. Most bits you can buy are only going to be uh, carbide tipped. These are a full, solid carbide bit. Um, and, and there's nothing else like them. They just the performance of these is far superior to anything else that I've ever seen, uh, especially cobalt bits. Any of that stuff just really doesn't stand a chance. Um, as long as you use it in a drill press, uh, it's not going to work in a hand drill. It's only going to work in a drill press. But this is a H1 steel from Spider Co. Very, very hard steel to pull it, especially and it's in its, in its hard form like this. Uh, it's a great steel, completely brush resistant. Um, and it just, uh, this is one of the only bits that's really going to do this. Right there, right there. Just like that. Now, if you take a look at the um, hardness rating of this particular steel,
steel, I have it over here. Uh, H1 Spyderco steel is 57 to 58 on the Rockwell hardness scale. Uh, that's a really high number. Uh, this stuff is just super, super hard. Ultimate rest resistance. Great steel. However, it's difficult to work with. And a drill bit like this is going to make everything a whole lot easier for anybody that's going to be using this steel or wanting to modify it. I've actually modified mine with a Emerson's hook right here. Uh, kind of cool. Um, and then now i got a couple holes. Oh well, it's worth it for the demo to help other people out. Uh, great, great drill bits. Drillbitwarehouse.com. Um, my personal discount code for these drill bits is LOCKMAN1. If you put that in there, you'll get a, bit, a little bit of a discount and uh, get some great drill bits. This is Wayne with Chai County Locksmith Service. For more information, more reviews, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. This is Wayne with Tri County Locksmith Service. This is the Kershaw Vapor 2. This is an AUS 6 Japanese stainless steel, uh, roughly comparable to a uh, 440A. Uh, 440A is a 56 on the Rockwell hardness scale, and um, this stuff's probably a little better. You could probably even see like 58 out of this stuff. Uh, it's a good, good knife steel. Holds a really good edge. Um, really, really hard steel. However, it's very difficult to work with after it's been made, and for custom knife makers, the only way to go is these solid carbide bits. Um, this is an eighth inch, and it's a solid carbide. It's actually going to make a machine-style hole through this knife. You'll need a drill press, and you'll need a little bit of cutting agent, oil, or whatever you have at the time. You'll be able to see that you are, we already have filings. That's a good thing. Cobalt bit is not going to stand up to this at all. It's not even going to touch this stuff. Over the smoke, turn it right through it. Look at that. Just like that. Uh, that's pretty quick to, to be able to drill drill through quality uh, steel like this. This is really really hard to deal with. Uh, you can see my other hole there that was a test hole. This one single drill bit drilled both of those and both of those and that one and that one on these other stainless knives too. This is a Spider Co H1, there's a Maxim, and that's just a whatever a cheapy knife. Uh, but they all have uh, stainless steel on there. They're all they're all very difficult to work with and very difficult to drill. Um, my preference for these is uh, drillbitwarehouse.com. That's where I go to get mine. Uh, I even have a discount code. It's Lockman1. Uh, you put that in, you get a little bit of a discount on your drill bits, and uh, you get some good drill bits that actually can let you drill machine style holes through this super, super hard steel, even after it's been hard. This is Wayne with Tri County Locksmith Service. Go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com for more information. Alright, today we're going over drill bits and knife steel. This is a Kershaw 1550. It's got a 14C 28N uh, steel. It's from Ken Onion. It's a great, great steel. Uh, 55 to 62 HRC. Uh, that's a Rockwell hardness scale rating. Um, really, really hard steel. Hard to deal with. Hard to work with. Holds, a, holds an edge really, really nice. But uh, it's just really hard to deal with. These are solid carbide bits that actually have a little bit of an edge to them. Uh, a sharp edge and it actually allows you to start working these kinds of hardened super steels like this. Uh, the harder steels get, the better they hold an edge, but the harder it is to work with them. So for people who like to make custom made knives, uh, these drill bits are great. They're actually a solid carbide, they're not a tip. They're just 100% full on carbide all the way through and they have a 144 degree split point edge. Many of the other ones, you can see we've got a hole all the way through that right there. But it's due to that 140 degree split point edge right there. That's what makes the difference here. Uh, you can cut your nail, it's so sharp, it's not like a blunt masonry bit. You get a machine style hole, even on these great, great super steels like this. Um, 
So this was actually uh, modified a little bit by me. The tip snapped off, so I actually just kind of rounded it over like that. And uh, you know, now, now we've got two holes in it, but it's worth it to be able to show other people, hey, there's actually a drill bit out there that can make this stuff work. Um, I drill hardened steels all the time, and these are pretty much the only thing that really work in a timely fashion and give you machine style holes like this. Uh, you can go to drillbitwarehouse.com, that's where I get these. Uh, I get a discount code there because I buy so many of these. My discount code is LOCKMAN1. Uh, if you put that in, you save a little bit, and you get some great little carbide bits like this. These are great. For more information, go to www.tricannylocksmithservice.com. This is Wayne here with the Tricanny Locksmith Service. Um, got a bird knife with a CR13 MOV steel. Uh, you're going to be looking at a Rockwell hardness scale, uh, 57 to 58. This is one that I've modified. Uh, I basically took a rescue and modified it myself. Put some cool little swerves to it. Uh, was able to drill a hole due to these solid carbide drill bits. If you want, you can put a lanyard or something on there. Um, I cut out the uh, the spider hole right there, and I put a little tiny notch right there with one of these drill bits as well. Uh, for a little bottle opener, so it's a little bottle opener, and it also is now an Emerson opening device. So you can operate it forwards or you can do it backwards, just like that. Um, but what I want to go over is this very, very hard steel. Uh, I made a twin of this thing over here. I've got it on the ground now, and I'm going to be able to drill a lanyard hole in this. Uh, with these solid carbide bits, you can see that the tip on them is is sharpened, okay? And that sharpening is what allows you to put machine-style holes in a knife like this. Uh, everything else is like a masonry bit. It's very, very blunt, but these have a, a nice sharp edge to them. So it's a 140-degree edge, and they just drill through pretty much anything, even these super, super steel like this. Uh, they just plow right through them. We're already starting to get some fine wings. And put that on there. As long as you're using a drill press, and you're not using a hand drill, it needs to be in a, a, a straight uh, force. You can use plenty of cutting fluid. These drill bits will cut through just about anything. They make a nice hole. They don't kind of bulldoze their way through it like a masonry bit does. HRC that's super super hard and this just makes it easy to be able to manipulate these these steels like this now you got a nice little lanyard hole now you got twins between that one and that one right there and that's these are great um, you can for more information go to www.tricannylocksmithservice.com thank you and have a good day you can see here with all these super super steels, we got Kershaw Super Steel, H1 from Spyderco, Maxim's 404 stainless, Kershaw's um, Vapor right here. It's just a regular uh, USA Saber. Uh, we got Bird Steel, Bird Knives over here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes. All the same drill bit right here. Uh, these solid carbide drill bits. They just keep on drilling this hard hard steel. And they allow me to use, um, they allow me to use, uh, a, you know, I can drill a hole through this super steel, even even as hard as it gets. I mean, they're the hardest, hardest steels. These things have drilled all the way up to 68 on the, on the Rockwell hardness scale, and they just keep drilling. So that's where I, that's what I use. Uh, they're at drillbitwarehouse.com. My discount code, if you want a discount on your drill bits, is Lockman1. For more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. This is Wayne here with the Tri County Locksmith Service. Um, got a bird knife with a CR13 MOV steel. Uh, you're going to be looking at a Rockwell hardness scale, uh, 57 to 58. This is one that I've modified. Uh, I basically took a rescue and modified it myself. Put some cool little swerves to it. 
uh, was able to drill a hole due to these solid carbide drill bits. If you want, you can put a lanyard or something on there. Um, I cut out the uh, the spider hole right there, and I put a little tiny notch right there with one of these drill bits as well uh, for a little bottle opener. So it's a little bottle opener, and it also is now an Emerson opening device. So you can operate it forwards, or you can do it backwards, just like that. Um, but what I want to go over is this very, very hard steel. Uh, I made a twin of this thing over here. I've got it on the ground now. And I'm going to be able to drill a lanyard hole in this uh, with these solid carbide bits. You can see that the tip on them is, is sharpened. Okay? And that sharpening is what allows you to put machine style holes in a knife like this. Uh, everything else is like a masonry bit. It's very, very blunt. But these have a a nice sharp edge to them. So it's a 140 degree edge and they just drill through pretty much anything. Even these super super steel like this, uh, they just plow right through them. We're already starting to get some fine wings. And put that on there. As long as you're using a drill press and you're not using a hand drill, it needs to be in a, a, a straight uh, force plenty of cutting fluid. These drill bits will cut through just about anything. They make a nice hole. They don't kind of bulldoze their way through it like a masonry bit does. They actually make a nice proper machine style hole. Just like this right here. Even on these super steels like this. Um, you know, these are really hard steel. 57, 58 HRC. That's super, super hard. And this just makes it easy to be able to manipulate these these steels like this. Now you got a nice little lanyard hole. Now you got twins between that one and that one right there. And that's these are great. Um, you can for more information go to ww.tricannylocksmithservice.com. Thank you and have a good day. You can see here with all these super super steels, we got Kershaw Super Steel, H1 from Spiderco, Maxim's 404 stainless, Kershaw's um, Vapor right here. It's just a regular uh, USA Saber. Uh, we got Bird Steel, Bird Knives over here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes. All with the same drill bit right here. Uh, these solid carbide drill bits. They just keep on drilling this hard, hard steel. And they allow me to use, um, they allow me to use, uh, a, you know, I can drill a hole through this super steel, even even as hard as it gets. I mean, they're the hardest, hardest steels. These things have drilled all the way up to 68 on the on the Rockwell hardness scale, and they just keep drilling. So that's where I that's what I use. Uh, they're at drillbitwarehouse.com. My discount code, if you want a discount on your drill bits is Lockman1. For more information, go to www.countylocksmithservice.com. Even after all that, this is all one bit. This is all this one bit right here. We got two holes in this Kershaw. We got two holes in this Spyderco. We got one in here. We got two in there. Um, we got one over here. This is all in the same I haven't changed the drill bit, just a little bit of cutting fluid, a little bit of cutting agent, and uh, a drill press, and these solid carbide bits made in the USA, uh, they just drill through just about anything.